Hey there folks, Dreyeth here. I'm sitting around with not much to do, so I figured I'd start a new character in Fallout New Vegas, see if there's anything different from a female perspective. Today I'll be showing you all a little trick that I usually do with my new characters. We are going to be removing this map marker, and then we are going to be sneaking into New Vegas without going all the way around through Prim and Nipton and all those. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we are going to be starting at Sloan. We're going to be going east into Hidden Valley. From there we're going to be skirting Black Mountain north, going along the ridges and rocks until we are in New Vegas territory. This will take us away from Quarry Junction, and it'll take us away from Fiend territory, and it'll keep us mostly in the clear. Now, the big challenge here is going to be that the Death Claws have a ridiculous spotting range. Pretty much no matter what, they are going to see us. The trick here is we're going to be exploiting a quirk of the pathfinding AI. Essentially, so long as they can't directly path straight to us across a relatively flat plane of ground, we will be pretty much safe. Ooh, cactus. So, if we can get up here, so long as we stay up on rocks like this, we are safe. If a death claw spots us, we'll be fine. You. Traps is making things a little bit laggy. Not used to that. This is the first gameplay video I've actually seriously recorded. Now, this is a strategy that you can do with no sneak whatsoever. Um, I've done it with 20 sneak before. Essentially, the Death Claws are going to spot you no matter what, but you're just going to be taking a path where they can't do anything about it. This character, however, has a pretty high sneak. I believe she has a sneak of 45. Um, survival 50. So, that should make things a little bit easier. Not by much. I mean, the Death Claws are going to spot us. This is a given true fact, no matter what. But we might be able to kill a few extra Bark Scorpions. <laughs> no matter how often I play, I still accidentally try and pick up things from empty containers. It's just the compulsion, I guess. So yeah, there is Hidden Valley, our first stop. Did I pick up the map marker for it? We might as well pick up the map marker for it while we're here. Plus kill a few extra barks for it. Yeah, we got the map marker. I should pay more attention to the map markers. I'm getting on concentrating too much on narrating my epic journey. So... Around here, we are starting to enter, uh, enter danger territory. Death claws around every single corner. Every rock, death claw. Behind you, that's a death claw. In your bed, death claw. Behind that death claw, another death claw. As you can see, we are not in a safe area, but if we were up on one of these tiny rocks, we would probably be fine. Enemies are thwarted so very easily in this game. So there's Neil's shack. That's going to be our first step along the path. We can run for short little distances here. Did I hear something? No, I didn't. I'm being paranoid. Hmm. So, we'll talk to Neil.
Oh, this hi, is a Neil. dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn. Hey, what do you mean by my kind? Anyway. So from here, what we're going to do is we are just going to go along Black Mountain, easy as you please. We're going to be keeping to the rocks and the mesas. And if there's a death claw directly below us, they will not be able to do anything about it. They'll know we're here. But they'll just pretty much run around in circles trying to get to us. And from there, and we just sneak past them until we're out of their range, and we continue on our way. Okay, let's try and get up onto this ledge here. Oh, don't tell me there's an invisible wall. Ah. Oh. That's the one thing I kind of dislike about this game. I'm moving to this from, uh, from Skyrim, and... <laughs> I'm just so used to in Skyrim where you can do anything and go anywhere and ah our first deathclaw sightings the fascinating creatures whoa we pissed this one off right um as you can see they are running around down there they know we're here we know where they're there I had a crisis of identity there. We we all know where each other are, but they can't do anything. So long as we stay up here, behind the ledge, and we keep moving. Now, I do have a stealth boy in my inventory, I believe. Uh, yeah, two stealth boys. Where did I get the second one? Uh, I know I got one from the safe over in Good Springs. But I have some stealth boys for an emergency. Which this might be. He might find a path. No, I, I don't think they do, but let's get up onto this ledge anyway. The trick to this is just to stay calm, you know? Stay calm and keep trucking. Because they will be right there and they'll follow us for a good deal. But eventually we'll lose them. They'll get caught behind something. And then we'll just be on our way. there. So if we go past this way, and if we can get up onto this rock, please, no invisible walls. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Now we can just work our way around, get out of their range, and I think we'll be home free. Oh, hey. Oh. That's a thing. Uh, you'll notice I'm not playing a radio station. Um, radio can help you keep calm, but it'll also keep the game from playing combat music, which is a great way to tell you're spotted. Sometimes it'll even show up before your pip boy tells you, so... Yeah. And at this point, I believe we are starting to get close to the edge of Deathclaw territory. We should be out of their range. I don't see any wandering around. I don't have anything with a scope. I haven't been to the Brock flower cave yet, but farm and rifle has a bit of more of a zoom to it. So yeah, we'll be going over to there, which should be out of Deathclaw territory, and even if one spots us and chases us, those mistle, those, uh, those Mr. Handies will be a nice distraction and we can stealth boy away. That, that's the other trick to this, plan your route out. 
Oh, hey. We are completely home free, it looks like. Yeah. Now, we might pass through some vipers, we might pass through some fiends, but even at low level, they aren't really a problem. And I think at this point we can just switch back to normal old walking. How may I serve you, mistress? That's a nice little touch there. They actually acknowledge your gender with their facial recognition technology. I'm surprised they can even tell that I'm a person. Uh, that's another trick. Every once in a while, just crouch down for a moment and see if anyone's looking at you. If you have a relatively low perception, that'll sometimes also let you know if you're being tracked before you can see anything on your map. And, yeah. Here we go. We are in outer Vegas, pretty much, at this point. We just need to, like, skirt around the wall and find the entrance. So, that is how you get into Vegas at a low level. It works even if you don't have 50 sneak at level 3, but um, it's nice to have that. And it gives you Repcon, the well, it might give you that. I think that's the first time I ran into that. It'll give you Neil Shack and Hidden Valley on your map. And then you can go around in Vegas and do all your stuff there. You can get a place to store your stuff, and you can explore the rest of the wasteland at your leisure. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, then good. I have no idea if I'll be doing anything else like this. This is just a neat little trick that I do that I thought I would tell you all about. So, thank you for watching. Um, I said that already. Yeah. Um. Bye.